That's what you need to know. Here is what I want you to know. I'd really like to stand here and tell you to think of the children. That's a cop-out. It's not Deshaun Watson's job to raise my kids. It's mine. I told you Monday I'd be uncomfortable if Watson chose Cleveland. Watson's still a great quarterback, and I don't think what the Browns gave up for him from a football sense is really all that much in the long run. I'm not going to stop rooting for the team. I'm not going to stop shouting Super Bowl Super Browns on the radio or on my own front porch after a couple of whiskeys. I've talked to many people close to Deshaun Watson over the past four days. I told you it's a gut feeling. I also like to back it up on the phone. And they believe him. But I still have serious concerns. I can't shake him. And I'm definitely uncomfortable. But Dee Haslam isn't silly. She's on the conduct committee. She'll answer questions. And the Browns, and I do know this, have investigated thoroughly. That is still not why I'm uncomfortable. You deserve the truth, and I'm going to tell you why I'm uncomfortable. The piggish behavior that I worry about are the victory laps I see from people who seem to want to rub it in people's nose as if it's wrong a fan isn't cheering for someone facing those accusations. I do find it hard to believe all 22 women are not telling the truth, but Watson himself has fought the civil suits and legal suits tooth and nail. And if he's clear, and I truly hope he is, for many reasons as you and your family are discussing tonight, then his legal action would show he has a problem with those victory laps too. Send your tweets to me at Ken Carman, C-A-R-M-A-N. I'll talk to you on Monday morning at 6 o'clock with my good buddy Anthony Lima on 92.3 The Fan.